The Markham Bridge, then we have Markham Hill. The name Markham is very well known in and around Portland. Yeah, but who is Markham? And why is he so important to Portland's history? Ken Body shows you it's all a part of where we live. Nearly 140,000 vehicles a day travel the Markham Bridge that spans the Willamette River. It is the most important bridge in the city of bridges. You have a bridge here that connects up everything. Interstate 5 South, Interstate 5 North, I, Interstate 84, Interstate 405, the Sunset Highway. It was key, ground zero, for all those to come together. It opened in 1966 at a cost of $14 million, more than $100 million in today's dollars. The Markham was a critical piece in Governor Mark Hatfield's vision to complete Interstate 5 in Oregon. It's among the first bridges to use what's now commonplace technology. They used computers to help complete their calculations, computers the size of rooms. So why the Markham? Attorney Philip Augustus Markham, born in 1823 in Baltimore, Maryland, followed the gold rush to California in the mid-1800s and moved to Portland in 1851. He became a Multnomah County judge, an Oregon legislator, and a transportation advocate, instrumental in establishing the Oregon Railway and Navigation Company, now part of Union Pacific. Markham purchased hundreds of acres on what is now Markham Hill, where Oregon Health and Science University and the VA hospital sits. ODOT says it's more accurate to say the bridge is named for Markham Gulch, the land on the west side of the river where the bridge passes over. It's fitting in a way, you might argue, that, uh, that the bridge is named after the Gulch, that's named after Philip Markham. Philip Markham died in 1912 at the age of 89, his name preserved forever by the bridge that ties Portland together. Ken Body, Coin 6 News.